From the south axis of the Steens Mountain Loop is about a 60-mile drive to the Elvert Desert. Many people think of lush forests and the coasts when Oregon comes to mind, but actually, about half of Oregon is high desert. The Elvert Desert lies at an elevation of approximately 4,000 feet, or 1,200 meters, and is one of the most isolated and unique land formations in Oregon. We entered the desert using the free Frog Springs access. This access point has a vault toilet and a dumpster. The road down to the desert is very uneven, but I'm glad we made it with our truck camper. The desert is generally dry for nearly two-thirds of the year. Heavy rains can turn the clay bed into thick, sticky mud that can easily detain even four-wheel drive vehicles. So check the weather before your trip. The recommended months to visit are during the dry season from July through November. Dispersed camping is allowed in the Elvert Desert. If you have plans to camp here, I'd suggest arriving in the late evening when it's starting to cool down because there's no shelter at all except the vault toilet. About 3.5 million to 15,000 years ago, Elvert Desert was once a giant lake extending over 100 miles with a depth of about 200 feet but it dried up and is now a dry lake bed, also known as a plier. The dry lake bed is about 12 by 7 miles and averages 7 inches of rain in a year. It was my first time witnessing a sunset on one horizon and then a moonrise on the opposite horizon. I didn't even need a flashlight. The full moon was super bright and orange. Nighttime lows vary. When we were there in mid-July, the low was about 57 degrees Fahrenheit or 14 degrees Celsius at around 5 or 6 a.m. We left the desert at around 9 a.m. as it was starting to heat up and we still have a long way to the sunstone mines in Plush. What's the song?
What's the song? What the rushing? <laughs> Stay tuned to the next episode at the Oregon Sunstone Mines in Plush, where it's the only place in the world to discover sunstones with copper inclusions, and scientists still do not know how these Oregon sunstones are formed. <laughs>